This is the only NBA franchise to have won more than 70 games in a single season. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be continuing our series of the most successful sports franchises with a look at the Chicago Bulls. Here's Michael at the foul line, a shot on Elo. Guys, the Bulls win it! They win it! Founded in 1966, the Chicago Bulls are the third National Basketball Association franchise to play in the Windy City. Today, they play in the Central Division of the Eastern Conference. Beginning play in time for the 1966-67 season, the Bulls posted the best record by an expansion team in NBA history and advanced to the playoffs in their inaugural year. After playing their season at the International Amphitheater, the club moved to Chicago Stadium before finally moving to the United Center in 1994. Despite their initial success, the club floundered from the 1970s to the early 1980s. In fact, the simple toss of a coin at the 1979 NBA draft could have forever changed their fate. General manager Rod Thorne called heads in that toss, and that got the Bulls the second choice. With that, they drafted David Greenwood after Magic Johnson went first. Johnson went on to lead the LA Lakers to a successful 1980s decade. Greenwood's career lasted 12 unspectacular years, and he bounced from team to team. The Bulls learned from their mistakes, and by 1984, they capitalized on their third pick. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan of the University of North Carolina. The Houston Rockets selected Hakeem Olajuwon first overall, and the Portland Trailblazers drafted Sam Bowie second. The Bulls then pounced on University of North Carolina's shooting guard, Michael Jordan. Immediately, new owner Jerry Reinsdorf and general manager Jerry Krause began to build a team around this young player. Jordan was successful from the get-go, but it wasn't until the Bulls drafted, traded, and signed a strong supporting cast that the team really took off. This dynasty's record includes six championships in eight years, including two three-peats. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. However, in between those three-peats came a shock. Mere months after his father was murdered, Michael Jordan stunned the league and fans alike when he announced he would be retiring. With Jordan gone, teammate Scottie Pippen affirmed himself as one of the best players in the game. After the team left the madhouse on Madison for the United Center in time for the 94-95 season, they got the best news possible. In March 1995, a two-word press release announced, I'm back. And he was. In his fifth game back, Jordan dropped 55 points and went on to help his team to the playoffs. The Bulls were eliminated in the conference semifinals that year, but went on to clinch three more championships from 1995 to 1997. Jordan, open, Chicago with the lead! The common factors in all six championships were Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, and coach Phil Jackson. The Bulls' first three-peat ran from 1990 to 1993 and included Bill Cartwright, Horace Grant, John Paxson, and B.J. Armstrong. The latter included Luke Longley, Steve Kerr, Ron Harper, Tony Kukoc, and Dennis Rodman. The status of both the Bulls and Michael Jordan himself single-handedly grew the NBA's popularity around the world. In fact, the 1998 NBA Finals was the most watched championship series in NBA history. As all good things come to an end, the Bulls dynasty disintegrated. This sent the franchise into turmoil and kicked off a decade of underperforming. But by the mid-2000s, the club made it back to the playoffs, and at the end of the decade, they returned to prominence after drafting Derrick Rose with the number one pick in the 2008 entry draft. The club holds many records, including the best overall win-loss season record with 72-10 and 10 in 1995-96. And of course, Michael Jordan holds numerous individual records and was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2009. Inbounds a card right to Jordan, time winding down, Michael for three, yeah, yeah, yeah! In their six appearances in the NBA Finals, the Chicago Bulls have never lost. This is just one statistic that proves this team is deserving of its legacy as a successful sports dynasty. It's crossing over, headed to anything, time the Hawks dunk! Oh my! Once again, Derrick Rose abusing the Blazers here in the Rose Garden. That was sick, wicked, and nasty!